In the last lecture, we saw how we created a repository and created an implementation of a SQL Server repository. In this one, we will go on and add other methods to the repository and we will extract all the information from the controller so that the controller doesn't call the DB context directly but it calls the repository and the repository calls the database through the DB context. So let's do that. Let's open the I region repository and add the other definition. So the second definition I want is to get a single region back. So get by ID. And this takes a parameter which is of type GUID and the parameter name is ID. In return, I will respond return with a task of type region and region can be null or it can have a value based on whether we were able to find the id or not so i will annotate this by a nullable region so that the response type is a nullable region so let's implement that i will open the sql server region repository Press control dot on the interface because we don't have an implementation for the interface. Let's create the structure for this new method. Let's make this asynchronous. And we will use the same thing as used in the controller. So we will use the db context dot region dot first or default async x such that x dot id matches the id that we have over here and this can return us a null or a region so let's return this back and because this is an asynchronous method we want to use the await keyword in front of the call so we have created the implementation and the definition in the interface it's now time to change the controller so i'll come to the regions controller and I can open the get by ID call. Here I was calling the DB context directly, but we wouldn't want to do that. So I will change this and call the repository instead. So I will say await the region repository dot get by ID method and pass the ID to the repository. And by this, we are using the repository instead of the DB context directly. So we have implemented repository pattern for this method as well. We will go on and change other methods and then test our application as a whole together. The next definition I want to create is the add functionality or the create. So let's use the create method as the name. And create takes a type, which is a domain model of uh, type region. So it will take a region domain model. And in response, it will return a task of type region as well. So we have the definition. Let's implement that in the SQL region repository. Click control dot to get the structure for the create method. I can remove this line make this method asynchronous and in here we will use the db context class to create this region so db context dot regions dot add and pass the region to the db context and i will use add async method and use the await keyword in front of it and the second line would be to save the changes so await db context dot save changes async and finally when these two things are done i can return the newly created region back also i can change the definition so that i can maintain consistency and have this method as create async instead of just create and also get by id async so i will change the definition first i'm changing this to create async and get by id async so i've changed the definition i also want to change the name of the implementation and add the async in front of the method names so now that we have created the create async repository method 
it's time to change the controller so expand on the create method and look for where we were using the deposit the db context instead we have to use the repository so i can just use await region repository dot create async method and pass the region domain model to the create async method instead and this will give me a response back so we can store that in this variable again and this will be populated with the id which we are then mapping back to domain model and resulting in a created action back to the caller so with that we have also implemented repository pattern for the create method now we are left with two others which is update and delete so i will create the definition for the update and update will take two things one is the identifier which is the GUID to identify the region we want to update and the second is the actual region domain model the values of the properties of the re region model that we want to update as a return type it will return a task of type region but we may find that this id is not available to us or it doesn't return us a region so it can result in a null back so i will have a nullable region as a return type so with that i can now create the implementation press control dot and implement the interface the first thing i will do is to check for the repository or uh, for the region so i will say where region or we can say exist um, existing region is equal to await and i have to put the async keyword here as well await db context dot regions first or default x such that x dot id is equal to id now we will check if existing region is equal to null then we return null back otherwise we update this existing region with the values coming from region over here so we can say existing region dot code is equal to region dot code and then we want to update the other fields like name and coming from this is coming from name as well and also the image url so the region image url over here as well so now that we have updated the uh, existing region we can now save the changes so i will say await db context dot save changes async and then return the existing region because this is the updated region now return this back to the controller so now we have the implementation ready we can come back to the regions controller and take away this check as well so i will remove this check because that's happening in the repository now so i can say call the region repository dot update async method and i want to change this to async as well so make this update async in the definition and in the implementation as well so i will say update async provide it with the id and the domain model so now i have to convert this dto to a domain model and then pass it so before we can actually call the repository let's map dto to domain model and in here we will say region domain model is equal to new region and we'll say uh, the code is equal to this is coming from the update request dot code the name is coming from this dot name and finally the image is coming from this dot image 
After that, we will pass this domain model into the update method in the repository and we will return, we will get a response back which we will store in a variable. So we can say region domain model is equal to whatever is coming from the repository. With that, our rest of the code remains the same. We will then check if the region domain model is null, then we will return a not found back. Otherwise, we just want to uh, return an OK response. There's no, there's mapping required uh, to convert this domain model to a DTO. So I will keep this MACPIM, but I can remove this uh, updation because that has now gone to the repository instead. So I will keep the uh, the mapping from the, the domain model to DTO. There's another error showing up on the top. I think that is because we had a name change. So get by ID async. So just that. So I will close this and the update method is also now moved to repository. The last method that we want to implement is the delete. So let's come back to the repository and create a definition for delete. I will name this delete async and it just takes a ID which is of type GUID and in return it can return the deleted region and this will also be nullable because it will first try to find the region based on this ID. If it is able to find it, it will return the region otherwise a uh, null back. So now let's create the implementation. Uh, I will come back to SQL region repository, press control dot over here to implement the interface and this is the delete method. Let's make this asynchronous and in here let's first find so existing region is equal to use the db context with the await keyword dot regions dot first or default async x such that x dot id is equal to the id from the parameter. Now once we are able to identify that this existing region is null that means we couldn't find a region. Let's return a null back and otherwise return uh, we have to delete it. So let's use the db context away again. So db context dot remove or regions dot remove and we pass the existing region that we found to db context so that we can remove it. Because this is not an asynchronous method, we can't use the await keyword with this one. But now we have to call db context dot save changes async method. And finally, return the deleted object back. So with that, the implementation is also ready. We can now change the controller method in the delete. We don't no longer have to look for the uh, the region our repository is doing that for us so let's call the repository and i will call this region domain model is equal to await region repository dot delete async method and pass the id to this method now it will check if the model is null that means it wasn't found return that response back Otherwise, we can now take this out because the deletion has happened inside the repository and we are just mapping the domain model back to the DTO. And finally, an OK response back with the DTO. So with that change, let's build our application. Control Shift B to build the application and we will then run it to just test the functions again. So the build was fine. Let's run the application. So let's first create a new region using the post method. I will try it out. I will say the name is this is a brand new region. Uh, let's say this is new for the code new region dot jpg something. Uh, click on the execute button to create this region and the controller is calling the repository. The repository is talking to the database using db context. 
I got the 201 back. So that means we should have this in the uh, in the regions call. So I will execute that as well. And this is the brand new region that we have. Let's use the identifier to get it using ID. So going to the get call again, passing the ID of this new region and we should have the details for it. After that, we want to update. So the put method, I want to update this region with the ID of that. So this is updated code. Updated region and let's say this is null. And let's execute this. So this also got a 200 response back and we have updated the details. Uh, and now finally, if we want to delete this region, because we touched that method as well, it is a good practice to delete, to test the things that we changed. I'll execute this and we have deleted it. If I execute it again, it will give us a not found back. So we have tested our controller endpoints and our CRUD operations for regions are following best practices. We are using asynchronous programming and we are using the repository design pattern in our CRUD operations on the region endpoint.